The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to take a look at the Treasury bond market. I think I've got this thing lined up so that you can see it live as it's happening. Uh, several people have asked me over the past several weeks why I've been so bearish. Folks, I've said it so many times every day that we've had lower tops and lower bottoms for a long time. All the Gartley patterns have stopped where they should have, so that's in stocks and in the future, so that's all. I, I just look at the patterns. Here's where we were yesterday. If you remember, I'm gonna draw this in because it was that important. We had this beautiful ABCD pattern that came in at 1803. Now you see here, well, I, I mentioned, look, we have a very weak rally to the 50% level. Then we have a weak rally right to the 3A2, and then of course the Fed comes out and look what happened when we went through the 118.01. It's been straight down. It's a point and a half, folks, straight down. So the reason why this is not the end of the world, this is a tradable market. People will be trying to buy it all the way down. One of my favorite books is a book by Bernard Baruch, who was the best friend of none other than J.P. Morgan, J.P. Morgan. And he wrote a book called My Own Story, which is autobiography. And he said in that book, he said, the greatest scam on Wall Street is to inflate something to a high price and people will buy it all the way down thinking they're getting value. I don't know if that's the case or not, but it makes good sense. Now, let's look closely at the Treasury bond because I think we're very close to a tradable bottom. You have an ABCD pattern in forming right now as we speak. You see, we are almost there, 115.32. So far, the low has been... 1605 so that could be a very very interesting bottom and folks that's all it is it's going to be interesting and it's going to be a bottom because all it's going to do is you're going to get another rally whether it's going to line up like this one or not i doubt it i don't think it has a four handle rally in it myself because it is so very very bearish as i pointed out yesterday looking at this on the weekly chart we're heading to 106 10604 is where we're going. That's 12,000 bucks from where we're going. So look for a rally to get short. That's all I can mention to you to uh, help you along with your trading. Okay? So I try to look at these patterns. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. We had a couple yesterday that worked pretty good. Now, let's move on to something that we have been watching very, very closely, and that is the euro. Okay? Now I want to show you this is where we were yesterday. If you remember, I said we had this beautiful pattern here, and I said if you can't sell it here, uh-oh, I'm being the, the teacher has just called me, folks. So just I've got it. I've got to do something here. Uh, oh, we're not seeing the charts. Well, shut the front door and raise her in. Let's just try it again, and we're going to come over here. I do what I'm trying to do here, and I go to the screens. I hope this is right. Now I'm going to come up and let me see, that should be okay. Let me come over here. Okay, I hope this works. Ring the doorbell if it's right, will you, somebody? If it's not right, I'll go back in again. I'm not hearing the doorbell, so evidently no one's getting this. Looks like they should be, but I don't know. Hold it, let me try one more time. Hold on here. Ah, oh, Jesus, I give up. I in any in a sense, this ain't worth it for me, folks. The frustration that I have with this stuff is just, just flat out not. I don't know if this is live screen or Memorex. I don't know. Oh, man. <clears throat> boy, oh, boy. It's not technical, it's electrical. <laughs> Uh, can any is it is is the thing working now? I can't tell whether it's working or not. Please, someone give me some information. I'm about ready to hang up and say goodbye forever. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I just did. Uh, 
not getting any feedback, so I don't know what to do. I uh, please. Uh, oh God. Ah, shit. All right, just a minute. Let me try something else here. I do what I'm supposed to do. Say I'm going to go up here, change windows. Now I want to go to the screens. Go live. Now let's see if it's there. Ah, uh, there we go. Thanks, Michelle. That should do it. Okay. All right. There's there's where we were yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. There's was the A B C D. And then here's where we started to move down. Here's when the Fed evidently come in. Okay. All right. That's where we were. You notice, folks, that we came down and we made new lows today. You see the little red dot there? That was the long-term 382 on the euro. Let me get it up here. You'll see there it is right there. We made a slightly lower low than the previous day. Believe it or not, folks, I'm going to read this to you because what I want you to do, folks, is I want you to look right over here. You see where it says low? I want you to keep your eye on that because then when I go over to here, I'm going to show you the low. And the low is 1.06167. I tried to get it to go to 0618, and they wouldn't do it for me, but it went there. Now we are now uh, $500 higher than that, but the fact that we held that 382 down 10 weeks, that means something. It hit it exactly. Now, let's take a look at another one that we were watching yesterday. We're going to come over here. Folks, don't try to pick a bottom in this stock market. It ain't ready yet. Hold on just a second. It will be soon, but not yet. Okay, here is the British pound. This is a small, smaller term. What we're going to do is we're going to look at this on the weekly because this is where we were, okay? Now, here's – this is where we were last night at around – I think it was about 3.30 in the morning. We were sitting here at this number, which is 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, okay? And I said, if you buy it here, put a 30 pip stop on it, which is $160, by the time the people got the video, it was already through that because the Bank of England came out and did not raise interest rates. That caused this to break. So looking at this on the daily chart, look what happened. See, there's there's where our buy was right here. Now, we went below it, but now look, we, we bounced back and we're above it right now. So maybe that means something. We have bad news and good action. It's actually higher than it was. So that could be a sign that, yeah, we're maybe getting a little bit of a bounce in here. So let's keep that in mind, all right? Uh, those that we were in that gold yesterday, if you remember uh, up there, I think it was 19, uh, 1968 or so, it dropped down to uh, 1932. That was down, what, 34 bucks, which was the half, is the harmonic number in the gold. So that one's acting relatively well. Okay, now let's move on here to one other one here. We've covered the bonds pretty good, okay? Now let's get to the S&P because this is not the end of the world, folks. You can see it from the edge of town, but it's not yet. Okay, here's where we are today. We're coming down. All right, we'll be right back. I'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the December S&P E-mini. And as you can see, looking at this cardly, we've got a price objective of 43.16. That's 80 handles away from where we are right now. Now, 80 handles doesn't sound very much, but we came down 100 handles between yesterday and today. We went down from 45.07 down to 43.92. We took out this low by five points, okay? So that means we probably have reached some type of a small bottom in here. Two reasonings for that. First of all, on Saturday, two days from now, is the 23rd of uh, September, which is the first day of autumn. If you live down here in Tucson, you are about a 1,000 miles away from Cancun and also uh, Chichen Itza, which is the uh, pyramids that are so famous from Mexico. And if you ever go to that area, which I've been to several times, and you get there on the 23rd of uh, September, which is the equinox, and the sun is directly above the pyramid, it starts forming 45-degree uh, angles. And as the sun moves from east to west, as it always has, these triangles move like a snake down the head of the pyramid, through the steps, and on in to it hits the jungle. Uh, it's really quite amazing. Now, you don't have to take that trip. All you have to do is to get uh, hit the autumn equinox, Mexico, and you'll go to take you right to Chichen Itza, which is about two hours from Cancun, and you'll be able to see that happening. It's a very, very important astronomical event that's been happening for hundreds of years, uh, well, actually thousands of years. Anyway, that's neither here nor there, but that's coming up here. That's accompanied by, of course, which will be a uh, full moon, I believe. Is that correct? Uh, no, the full moon is not until the 29th. Wow, I didn't realize that. Okay. All right, let's move on here to cover this for just a second and get down to the basics of AB equals CD. From the high that we made right back here, okay, to the low, that took 17 trading days to get to that point, okay? 17 trading days. You see, that's what trading days. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this. This is a simple cycle tool. And I'm going to go over to the high. Put it right there, and the 17th trading day comes here on, wow, two days, so it comes in on the 28th of September. So the 28th of September is where we most probably have time and price equal squared. There is time, 
okay and this is the price so right here at roughly 43.16 to 40 well it's going to be this level maybe even i could get all the way down to here if it gets really nasty which is certainly possible but that's what we're watching the abcd measures on this now this is just back of the envelope math folks there it is right there 43.16 you can't make it up and there's the day that it's supposed to be hitting right there spot on and that's what you'll be watching for so I hope that's it. Now people say, wow, this was a big surprise market breaking down like this. <laughs> Boys and girls, time out. Let me give you some names here over the past two weeks that have warned us. One, Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com. Two, <laughs> Joe DiNapoli. Three, uh, Peter Elides, just here on Friday, uh, or uh, uh, Tuesday. Uh, Jeff Huge uh, on almost every week telling us how negative it was. Stan Harley. And also Norm Winsky, all of them were saying, gee, look out here. Looks like we got some movement to the downside. That's why there's going to be some great opportunities on the upside and the downside. So that's what we're looking for as we're going through some of these here today. All right, now let's move on here and uh, talk about one other one that is uh, very interesting because I'll tell you why. It's been the one that is still the most bullish of anything we're looking at. Now here is the Dow Jones. Okay, now this is since September. Now, you remember, we made this ABCD pattern here on the 19th. If you remember that, that we, 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 we pointed that out. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg. Well, it didn't come in until the next day. I thought that it hit it, but it didn't. But what was interesting about this is that from this low to high, we went right up to the exact 61% retracement spot on. Now, when we were doing that, we already told you that the S&P 382 came in at 4502, and the high was 4507, and now we're trading at, uh, we just broke 4400. So that's, when you see a divergence like that, that tells you that the market is weakening. There was one other thing that we've been mentioning here. We've had two very famous IPOs come out. We had ARM come out on Friday, and then we had uh, Instacart come out on yesterday. Both of them looked really great. They were up 20% uh, on the opening day. Second day, everybody that bought it on the first and second day is lost. They went negative. That's not good action for an IPO, folks. Another reason is the market's not accepting a lot of new players. That's We talked about that, and I might be wrong, but that's what it appears to be. You have good action or good, uh, good uh, news and very bad action. Not very good at all. That's why the pound is so interesting because – we have bad news, i.e. no interest rate increase, and yet the pound has come back pretty good. So I think it's a possible bottom in here. How much are going to rally? No one knows, and you know I don't either, and I don't care. I just want to know when I enter the trade, how much am I going to have to risk to see if I'm wrong? I do not know what the outcome is going to be. I never profess to do that, but I that's basically what I'm trying to do when I'm looking at these patterns day after day here for us. All right, now let's jump up here to the gold and review what we had. Yesterday, we, or let's get up to this. Uh, I think that was a four-hour, wasn't it? Yep, there it is right here's where we were yesterday. We were trading there at uh, 1968, and I mentioned, you know, your risk here is only two bucks. And about two seconds after that, I lost all electricity for two hours. I had no idea what happened to this. As you can see, we had a pretty big break here. Uh, but wasn't able to get the order off, so missed that one. And uh, that's neither here nor there, but uh, that's the way it goes. Now, on the gold, we went all the way down, and we stopped $2. Oh, $2. What am I talking about? $1 from the actual 786, and now we're getting a little bit of a bounce. So what I'll be watching here, getting up this to 13 minute, I want to see. See, I already marked the 382 for today was right here. Ah, look at this, boys and girls. Oh, you can't make this up. Pay attention to this one, boys and girls, because this may mean something. There's your A leg right here. There's your B leg. There's your C leg. And look at that. Johnny is holding up his favorite postal card. It says .382. And you're right, Johnny. That's what this would be. It would be a spot on 382. You could sell it there at 46 and put a stop up here. I'd say at about 53. I would risk more than about $7. It's $9 between the 
three eight two and the six one eight. So I'd say if it's good, it's not going to get any higher than that because that's the A B C D. But boy, when these things fail, they go they go wacko. So that's neither that's neither here nor there. Also, okay. So those are some of the things that we're watching here. I uh, hope that helps out a little bit. I had a couple other questions that I'll answer for the folks when we get back uh, from our break here, which will be in about 37 seconds. We'll uh, be happy to answer any questions, 877-927-6648. And as I mentioned, uh, Jeff Huge will be our guest tomorrow. We'll be right back, boys and girls. report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I got an email from one of uh, you folks yesterday and asking me, why don't I put up some ETFs and stuff like that? Um, and they wanted to see if the numbers work with those folks. These numbers work with anything that's got a volume of more than a couple million shares a day. Uh, I mean, you just can't. This is human nature. I mean, we're, this is the e uh, emerging market ETF. But you, you can just look at, you can see the ABCDs on the way down. A, B, C, D. There's a beautiful Gartley right there that yields to A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. I mean, they're everywhere. 
All you've got to do is just practice and learn it. This stuff is not hard to learn, but the problem is it's so simple people don't like to do it. I've taught probably in the 50-some years I've been teaching, yeah, 20 years, over 1,000 people. Some of them have been pretty famous, some of them not so famous. But uh, I'm still in contact with well over 600 of them, which is pretty good. But the main thing I want to talk to you about now is spouses, folks. I've done a lot of training over the years, as you know. And I want to tell you one of my most famous was part of that hockey thing with the hockey players from 2000, from 1980 hockey team. One of the people that was on that, uh, on that not the hockey team, but within the Olympics, was a speed skater. She was from Wisconsin, and she won a bronze medal. She was a very good athlete in high school and stuff. Uh, she only attended two years of college and became a bookkeeper. And she wanted to learn how to trade, and I got him through the referral of uh, one of the hockey players. And uh, so she turned out to work really hard, and I worked with her for about six months. And she quit her job as a bookkeeper and began trading the euro, and she was good at it, folks. She understood that this was just simple back-of-the-envelope math, A, B equals C, D, addition and subtraction, and she was really good at it. And she was making about three times what she was making as a bookkeeper, and she was only working about four hours a day, happy as a pig in poop. And let me tell you something, folks. I don't hear from her for about three months, and finally she calls me up in tears. She says, I have to quit. And I said, why? She says, I can't stand the pressure. I said, Lori, I said, you're making money. We go, you have it had bad? No, still making money, but I can only trade only one or two now. I can't trade five or six like I was doing. What's wrong? She says, well, it's my husband. I said, what happened? Did you get divorced? She said, no. He said, uh, you know, he's a plumber, a high school sweetheart. And he said, every day before he goes to work, he pokes his head into my office and says, don't try to lose all of our money today, honey, is what he says every day. And I said, Lori, I said, are you kidding? And she said, no, nope, that's it. And I said, well, Bubba, I said, you only got uh, one thing to do. It's going to have to be your way or the highway. So you've got to sit down with him, tell him that you love him unconditionally. But if he does it one more time, it's it. you got to pick something that you love to do or someone that you love. I don't recommend doing uh you know, splitting up the marriage over trading, of course. But uh, she sat down with him and uh, it took a while, but he stopped doing it. And uh, she kept going and did, well, did very, very well. And the sequel to it was 20 years later, her son was also a speed skater in the Olympics, but he didn't quite get to the medal stage, but he finished fifth on a couple of things, did really good considering all the things that were done. But folks, if you've got a spouse out there or any member of your family telling you this is gambling and stuff like that, you know, it's not gambling. People just don't understand it. You know, this is intelligent risk speculation. You're acting like an insurance broker is what you're doing. Okay? You don't know what the heck's going to happen next. If you sell at this point, D, heck, there could be something like artificial intelligence come out and boom, away it goes to the upside. So that that's where you have a stop in. Because if you don't use a stop, you're telling the market, gee, I know a lot more than you do. And that's not going to be the case. I'm telling you, folks, you just can't do that. But that that's one of my most memorable stories. And uh, the last time I talked to her, which was, oh, my gosh, 15 years ago or so, she was doing incredibly well and had taught her daughter uh, to actually uh, do some trading. This is not hard. They just got to practice and learn how to do the things that are necessary to do it the right way. And that's it. Let's get to a couple of charts. I know you don't like to hear all this stuff that I'm mumbling about. The reason why I don't do more of these, boys and girls, the reason why I don't do more of these, that's just the automatic function in Ensign just showing you all the swings, is because I don't trade them. Okay? I trade foreign exchange and futures. That's what I do. I hardly ever trade a stock. And usually when I do, I lose because I'll buy a put or a call. <laughs> I, I just don't do it. I'm good at one thing, you know, like Curly and uh, – and uh, so uh, City Slickers, that one thing. By the way, that was the movie in 1990, 1991. I came over to see uh, Walt Bresser. Yeah, I think that was 91 that came out. And I uh, was watching that movie here in Tucson, City Slickers. And I said, I like this place. And then three years later, I moved here. Okay, let's get on to a couple things that look real interesting here. Now, we're going to go back into the old trading library here. We're going to pull up. A nice chart here of a four-hour chart. 
But what we're going to do now is we're going to get it on a little bit bigger time frame. I'm going to get rid of this one right here. I don't need this. And I want to come up here and get this is December soybean oil, folks. This is a four hour chart. I want to get this up here. And you see that we are coming down. Let's do the daily because that's a real simple one to do. Okay, here's the daily. There's our low here. There's our high. You can see the ABCDs on the way up if you want to just prove to you that they work. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right there. Is that close enough? Yeah, I guess so. But look where we are now, folks. We're getting ready to come down to 57.52. That's about a point away from where we are right now. This is important. You see that we missed the 382 here by a few pips. Now we've got another one. But we also have something else that's going on, and that is we're going to have an AB equals CD coming in, just like in the euro. Remember the euro we looked at here in the weekly? We're going to have this stop in here at 57.52. Now stop and think of this, folks. Just go here. This is the 24th uh, of July, and here we are two and a half months out, and it's only dropped 10%. Okay, now that's not bearish. We're almost at the 382. That's not bearish. Okay, so this is one you got to take a look at. I mean, give me a break. I mean, this is a nice correction in a bull market. Shut the front door and raise the rent. You got to watch this one. This is, uh, it might not work, but boy, it's got everything going for it. So, what we're going to do now, you're just a president. Oh. I don't, you're not seeing the charts? Oh, God damn. Ah, oh, man, I thought it was showing all the charts. Nah, I give up. Ah, might as well, might as well get me a monkey and a little glockenspiel and go around selling peanuts at a fair. That's what I should do. God damn. I see applications. I'm not doing that. I'm doing, I want to go to screen. So I go to screens and I hit that and then I go live. <sighs> Shit. Shizus. Yeah. Waste of freaking time is what it is. Just a waste of time. All right. Here's what I'm talking about here, folks. There's the 382 right here. Now let's take a break. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. All right, folks, we're going to go through this bean oil, sorry, bean oil again. Uh, you'll notice here that we're looking at this number here at 57.85. 57.52 is a 3.82. So this is the one you want to go buy. Numbers exceed geometry. So I'll be buying at around 57.60 is what I'll be buying it at. I'm risking about 60 points or $360. Now, let's just look at this area right here because this is going to be helpful to us. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch from a daily. We're going to go down to an hourly chart. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take that hourly chart, open it up here because this is what we want to be looking at right here. So we're going to clean everything out, get a fresh start, as they say in the trade. So you go from your low up to your high, and there's your 1.618 expansion. Comes in, we want to buy at 57. Uh, 60. That's, you see, I've got my beeper right in here if it gets to that level. So that's the area we're looking to buy at right now. The 127 comes in at 58.12. So we got to get through that. So 57 and change. Here's 57 right here. So what we want to be doing is we want to be buying it right there, which is a 382 at 57.60. That's going to be the buy order right there, 57.60. All right. Now, looking at it closely, we can see we've got some nice 382s on the way down here. Let's check this one out from the last high. Now, don't get excited, Billy or Johnny, if that hits. Oh, there it is, right on the money. There's your 382. That was today, for God's sake. <laughs> That's a $900 move when I missed that one. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> uh, someone put, it, put me out of my misery. Okay, so anyway, that's what we're looking at here. Uh, we should get down to this area here in a day or two would be my guess. Ideally, it would come in probably we've got this uh, big thing happening in the first day of autumn. So I'll be – and we got Yom Kippur's on Sunday. So I will say Sunday night or Monday I'll be watching this one here uh, at uh, 58 uh, – 60, excuse me, 5760 is what we'll be watching. Okay, now uh, I've had some people, you know, they say that they can't find ABCDs when they're trying to find them and stuff like that. So I'm just going to do one here for you that I missed just to show you I miss a lot of them these days. So we're going to take a look here at the, uh, there's our Christmas corn, which is right here. And I want to get this up here right here. We'll take the Christmas corn. There's our December corn, and I want to get it back over here. Uh, let's go to the daily. I believe that's what we were looking at. There's what we brought. This is the area we were watching. So let's go back to that four-hour chart so we can see it really clearly. Okay, now here is the uh, here is the uh, corn here over the last few days. Okay, now we had th this is really this is really an easy one, folks. But let me show you. This is going back a month, okay? Now, you want to start right there. Now, this is the, the largest crop in the world, folks, uh, our, our corn here. That, there's no crop any bigger than that one. There it is right there. That number says 467. Look at the low here, folks, 467. Exactly, okay? Very, very important. Now, what we want to do is we've got some other ABCDs that are here. We've got one right here to there. We see we're going to draw it in right here. There's your ABCD right here. 
Where does it stop? 467. And we had a rally. The rally was uh, for 13 cents, stopped right here, came down. Why did it come down? Let's just go check. From the high that we made way back here, uh, might it be the one? Look at that, folks. That was the exact 382 from a month ago last night at 482. We're now eight cents under that. So now, now we have an interesting one because look, we got left shoulder, potentially right shoulder. The trouble is it can't get any lower than where it is right now because if it goes lower than the right shoulder, it's not going to be a valid head and shoulders pattern. And Andrew Lowe in his book, The uh, Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street, he defined uh, head and shoulders patterns by that way, that the right shoulder's got to be equal to or higher than the left shoulder in order to be bullish. So it can't get any lower than 73, and we're at 75 right now. So this is probably not going to be it. And maybe what it's going to do is even go down and make another new low down in here at 4, 457. That's not that's 18 cents away. Maybe it's going to do that. But you want to be watching it come this uh, uh, next uh, lunar cycle, which is going to be a, a big a big full moon, and that'll be a, a week from tomorrow on the 29th. So we'll keep a close eye on that. But if you're going to learn to trade, the corn is a great one to trade, folks, because it's got A, B, C, D patterns all over it. Plus, they're tradable, and uh, it's a big market. I mean, it's a big market. So anyway, that's the one that we're paying close attention to, too. Also, we remember, we've been watching wheat for quite some time. It keeps making lower lows. We just did another lower low deal right here. Remember yesterday, we'll get this up here on the smaller time frame. I think it was the uh, hourly. Was that? No, that wasn't the hourly. It was a four hour we were looking at. Yeah, this is the one we were watching here. Oh, it hasn't made a new low yet. There they go. The other low was at 67. Okay. There's where we are at 67. Let's clean all this up. This might be an interesting one here. Okay. There was the big bottom that we had. We got stopped out there. If you remember, we bought that here and got stopped out right there. And then it had the big rally up. Then we came down and then we made the 382 yesterday right at the old number right there. Oh, 61% retracement, A, B, C, D. And now we're starting to come down. We've made lower lows. So that tells us that, that we are going to go down and most probably make another new low down here at uh, 570. Now, this might be a major double bottom down in this area. So that's uh, we'll be keeping a close eye on that. Maybe just take this out by a little bit and then finally get a rally of more than, you know, 20 or 30 cents is what we're watching here uh, with the uh, with the wheat. Uh, any other questions coming in? 877-927-6648. They're coming in so fast and heavy. Al can't even get to the phone fast enough to take care of him. Shut the front door and raise their rent. All right. I want to do something quickly to check last night. We're going to go down to a little, let's go down to a four-minute chart and see if we could find last night, if we saw any A, B, C, Ds here in the S&P on the way down or a 382. Well, there there was the overnight, there was the high last night. Uh, that happened at about three in the morning, as you can see. That's where we were right here. There was an A, B, C, D right there. There it is right here. No, it doesn't look like one, but by gosh, it was. There's your A leg, B leg, C leg, D leg. It <laughs> goes a little bit higher, but anyway, that's that was a small A, B, C, D. And then, of course, we broke. Then we rallied back, and then we want to start checking for 382s. That's our second tool when we have real strong trending markets. So there's your high. There's your 382 right here. Then you go down and make a new low, don't you? Well, when you do that, You've got to draw the next 382 in. And where does it take you? Right here. And now we've got a new low. And so what you have to do now is to watch this. Actually, this bottom right here, uh, we took out those, this took out the highs of, uh, excuse me, the, the lows of uh, uh, September 1st. There's our ABCD coming in. Let's take a look. Shut the front door.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks. Uh, by the way, Jeff Huge will be our guest tomorrow, Alpha Insights. But uh, we will be expecting a bounce sometime here towards the end of... Uh, September, early October. Remember, those are seasonally the months that are most probable to have lows in the stock market, September and October. Of course, it's highly biased because of the October 29 crash, but uh, we also had a crash in uh, 1980. Uh, when was 87? Oh my God, I forgot already. October 19, 1987. We forget so quickly. Anyway, that's uh, this is not the end of the world. The patterns work. They don't work all the time. But when they do work, they work pretty nicely. The key is get out of dodge when they don't work. You know, you're not going to be right all the time. And sometimes you're going to be right. Sometimes you're going to be wrong. But if you just focus on how much you're risking, as opposed to how much you might be making, you should be okay. That's the bottom line of what we're watching here as we look at these charts unfold each day. So the key point here is I'd like to get to remember is that tomorrow we're going to have a new guest on. Well, he's not a new guest, but he hasn't been around for a while because he's uh, been traveling a bit, giving lectures because he's in great demand because of his uh, expertise and what he does, Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Next week we're going to have uh, Joe DiNapoli on, also Stan Harley, and uh, Norm Winsky, I believe, is coming in on the 29th. So we should have a pretty good group of people here to give you some great information. The only other request, by the way, thank you for the wonderful response to help the folks in Marrakesh. 
I am so very, very happy. I matched everything that you folks uh, gave us. Well, we're going to do that anyway. But, uh, you know, it goes to the Baptist church there. And the money, all the money goes to the folks that need it. And baby folks, we're talking about fresh water and food. Uh, forget it. The weather's nice there, so we don't have to worry about shelter too much. You know, the building's falling down, but uh, food's great. We'll see you all on the flip side tomorrow. May God bless. 